Hi all, if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are new, welcome. My name is Amira. And today guys, we are gonna talk about my spring makeup capsule. It is that time. Is it actually spring outside? No, we had snow yesterday. It's like 35 degrees today, but you know, we roll, we roll. Technically, meteorologically, it's spring. Spring was March 19th, so let's get into it all right guys so i have my trusty you know little caddy that i use for my seasonal makeup capsules um i was originally going to do this about a week ago and i couldn't decide what i wanted to put in my capsule because i was still figuring out a couple of other things i'm going out of town next month so i was really trying to think of what i could take with me that is sort of perfect for the two climates that I'm going to be in. I'm going to be someplace that is very hot and humid and then I'm going to be someplace that's a little bit more in keeping with like what most of us are experiencing this time of year so like 50s 60s. Um, so yeah so what I decided to do is to basically throw in here things that I have just got that gotten in the mail that I'm trying out. Also sort of keeping in mind being realistic about what my aesthetic is at the moment and that changes but right now my aesthetic is actually quite simple i am not doing super involved eye looks most days and i'm thinking that when i go out of town i'm probably not going to do super involved eye looks i want things to be very editorial but in a minimalist way if you understand what i mean you know what i'm saying so let's get into it everything that i have on my face are things that are in my capsule everything that's in my capsule is in the description down below so guys if you have not already be please be sure to like the video and subscribe and let's get into it so first up for complexion products I am going with the about face beauty foundations I told you guys when I did the comparison that I was gonna you know wear them a little bit more and see how I felt about them and that one of the techniques I was gonna use was using the lighter tone in the center of my face and the darker shade around like the deeper shade around the perimeter and that's what I've been doing and I've really been enjoying that um, and then for my other um, complexion products this was in my winter capsule and it's still kind of hanging out so I think I'm going to keep it into into spring because I think this is something that I'm going to want to take with me on my trip because I like the way that that product and the other product that I'm going to talk about in a minute, in a minute hold up in, in warm humid weather. Um, the next product that holds up well in that type of weather is the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer and I use these very in the very similar ways pretty much identical ways as I use these two all over my face and when I say all over my face I mean strategically and then I blend it out and what I like about these is that because they're full coverage I don't need to use a lot of product and I still get coverage and I can kind of blend them out and get a natural look while still getting the level of coverage that I want you know what I mean and then for a concealer I still have the tower 28 in here I go back and forth about how I feel about this one like I'm wearing it right now and I'm not loving the way it's sitting under my under eyes. So this, we'll see how this, I don't know if this is going to go on, get managed to get, you know, get to travel with me, but we'll see. Um, and then next up we have bronzers. So I'm out the new NYX sort of rosy buttermilk bronzers. Um, I have one on either side and I've actually, I can actually kind of, kind of like them you guys. So I'm going to give these more of a go over the summer. And then I just picked up three of the blushes that I've sort of been reaching for anyway before I even made this capsule. So I've been reaching for the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Blush in number 11, um, the M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow Faded Clement in Faded Clementine, and then I also want to you, I think I'm going to take this with me on my trip as well and this is the elf camo liquid blush and this is the shade bronze bombshell and what I like about this one is I can wear this as a blush and I can wear it as a bronzer and it can go either way so I think that's kind of like a nice little like two for type of product and then powder and I'm just taking my elf hello halo glow um this is what I've been using pretty much every day 
specifically to just set around here and I kind of want something that's going to be a little bit heavier than my Givenchy Prism Libre loose powder. I love that powder but it's not a powder that I feel holds up really well in super humid temperatures because because my skin tends to get quite oily in that type of weather and this one is just a more heavy duty powder. Next we have eyes and for eyes I'm keeping it simple guys. I don't think I'm going to I don't include generally I kind of go back and forth I sometimes include eyeshadows I sometimes don't I included eyeshadows in my fall makeup capsule I didn't include any in my winter and I don't think I'm going to include any in my spring capsule but I am going to be adding some single shadows so I have two of the make um, beauty multi-chromatic metal reflecting eyeshadows I have been using um, dream dust specifically quite a bit um, so this is what this one looks like beautiful and then I have this one and both of these are probably gonna come with me on my trip this is stardust Look how beautiful that is and then I also have which I'm also wearing today my Victoria Beckham eyewear in camp and caramel and that is what is on my eyes today with just some lip pencil and mascara this is it this is all I have on my eyes I am also going to be taking my about face beauty um this is the newest one in my collection i bought this during the ulta 21 days of beauty i bought another one of the matte fluid eye paints and i got the shade cloned i like this shade it's not as deep as i thought it was going to be i think i'm going to have to go for the um the darker brown but yes so far i do like this it's just not as dark as i would like but i think it will work well for what i would want to do look wise for this season and also for travel for eye pencils, I am taking two, um, two eye pencils with me, and I'm also including those in my capsule. Um, first one is the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Liner in Smoky Quartz, and then the other is my latest obsession that I use. I've been using pretty much up. Do you see how small it is now? And I need to get a new one. This is the MAC Eye Cole in Teddy. Obsessed obsessed I've been wearing it every day I don't know why I don't know I used to I'm like I hadn't I haven't really worn eyeliner guys like that in so long and I've been wearing this one almost every single day it's wild and then I'm taking and also including in the capsule my elf lash extender this is the mascara that's a dupe for the thrive cosmetics one I've been wearing this one practically every day when I'm not wearing my YSL brown this I'm wearing this one and it's it's real it's a really nice mascara then for lips. So for lips, I kind of approach lip products the same way that I approach like palettes. Sometimes I include lipstick, sometimes I don't. And that's really because I tend to go by vibe when I'm when I'm wearing lipstick. And so I've, I included two, but I'm not limiting myself to these two as far as what I feel like wearing. But I do want to get use out of these. One of them I've been wearing a ton and the other one I just started wearing. And then the other one is new and I've been wearing a ton and I just want to like wear it all the time but I'm, I'm including it in the capsule so first up is what's on my lips today and that is the Gucci glow and care um, lip shine what do they call it the lip shine and this is in the shade Lucy dark orange this is I, I showed you guys this in my lip stick call swatch video I'm wearing it today with um, Lisa Eldridge dragon lip pencil and it's just giving it's just giving it's giving everything i want i'm like obsessed i wore this to work um yesterday and i was just like well hello hello lover so yeah that is going in the capsule because this combo is just it's giving me life um next up is a sh another lipstick that i swatched for you guys that i have been wearing a ton and that is the chanel rouge allure in the shade alter ego looks like this it's a beautiful sort of glossy brown it's very sheer on my lips once I put it on this is it here I have bronzer swatches these are <laughs> these are the bronzers so just to give you a little sneak peek these are the bronzers from NYX and this is a, the phytosurgeons bronzer that I own and I've got things to say wait for, that video is coming up but yeah this is a beautiful sort of like semi sheer glossy lip and I've really been about that that kind of like either I'm going super pigmented and matte or I'm kind of like going glossy sheer lip stick lip gloss hybrid that's kind of like my my two happy places right now 
With that in mind, I have the Nabla Beyond Jelly Sheer Lipstick in the shade Dia. These have been out of stock on the Ulta website for a thousand years and they finally are back. I picked up one. I had three in my cart. I was like, let's be adults, Samira. Let's be, be an adult. Just get one. I know you've been obsessed with them, but you haven't even tried them. You don't even know if you'll like it. <sighs> well, I like it. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's just this beautiful, sh it doesn't have a lot of pigment on the lips, but it is so pretty. And it's just one of those perfect things to just throw on the lips. And it is incredibly like balmy, glossy on the lips. Um, I don't wouldn't say that it's necessarily hydrating, but it has the feeling of something that is hydrating. So your lips are very like slippy. Whereas the, the Gucci ones do feel quite moisturizing. I wouldn't say that this one does, but it just gives that sort of like feeling slippiness and you know, on the lips that just is very com comfortable to wear. And also it's one of those products that because it's not a lot of pigment to it, you can apply it. Like I sometimes I just sit like if I'm sitting at my desk and I'm like, mm, I'm, my lips are, you know, my, my, my lipstick is faded. I can just pull it out and put it on and I'm not even looking in a mirror and it's fine. It's that kind of product. Um, it's just very flattering. Um, so there's a couple other shades that I probably will pick up from from that range. Also, another reason why I'm not including any um, further lip products is because I have a feeling, you know, the Sephora cell is coming up. I really have my eye on some of the Westman Atelier shades. There's um, a shade or two that I'm interested in in the new Merit Matte formula. So I'm like, you know, if I'm going to buy some more lipsticks, I'm going to try to keep the ones that I have in the capsule to a minimum. So yeah, guys, that is everything that is in my spring makeup capsule. As you can see, it's pretty minimalist. And I want it to be that way because, again, I have a feeling I'm going to be with the sale coming up. I'm traveling. I'm, I have a feeling there are going to be more products coming into my life soon and I don't want to overwhelm myself with having a bunch of stuff in here that I'm like oh but I gotta use that stuff too I don't want to do that to myself I want to keep it simple um especially when I travel I tend to become quite minimalist and pared down because I just I'm a nervous traveler so for me if I can keep certain things down to a minimum where I don't feel like I have all of this stuff to think about and to worry about and pack away it just makes my life easier so yeah let me know in the comments down below guys are you doing seasonal capsules and if so what are you including in your spring capsule if you enjoyed today's video please be sure to hit the like button and i will see you in the next one bye now